Hey, what's going on? JD here, and if you haven't guessed it already, today we are going to show you how to create an effect for your Final Cut Pro footage to make it look like an old VHS tape. We're gonna do that utilizing Motion 5, but don't worry, we've got you covered if you don't have Motion 5. We will make the plugin for this effect available to you for free. So let's just jump right into it. So we're going to start off by clicking Final Cut Effect to create a new project. We're going to open that up. Now, the first thing that we are going to do is create a new group so we can organize things relatively well on this screen. So because there's a lot of typing at the top of the VHS look on an old VHS player, we're going to label this text top and this is where we're going to start putting in our text for the top of the VCR. So in the top left hand corner uh, we are going to type in there and we're going to utilize a font called VCR OSD and that's available on defont.com. I will put a link to that font down below so you can get that really VCR look. So we're just going to type in the word play and I'm going to have to fit this to screen so that it looks you know the way it should. We're going to move that up into the upper left hand corner and that looks about good for our first text. So it looks like the VCR text and now we're going to select text again. Uh, we're going to add it to that group and we're going to put in the upper right hand corner uh, just kind of two dashes, a colon, and then two dashes again. Uh, for those of you who were around in the 80s know that a lot of people never set the time on their VCRs or their camcorders because they just didn't know how. And so you got that kind of time code up in the top right hand side. So we're going to add that as well. Now we're going to go back and create another group. Uh, this time we're going to do it for the information that we're going to put in the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a layer for the time code. And the cool thing again with this is that you are going to be able to change up the time code. So it's not just one static set of numbers. You can change this. So we're going to add time code here and we're going to move that to the bottom left hand corner. Uh, as you notice that the background color is black, we don't want that. So we're just going to turn the opacity all the way down. And we really don't want that fourth set of numbers either. So what we're going to do is we are going to mask that out. So we're going to get a rectangle mask when we're just going to draw the mask over top. And then of course it masks everything out, which we don't want. We're going to go to mask and we're going to invert it. And there we have our time code set. So with that set, you can see us as we scrub through the footage, the numbers change depending on the time and you can set that offset to whatever you like. So if you want to start it later in your VHS tape, uh, you can do that. Or if you want to start it at zero, you can do that as well. From here, we are going to move over to the library. We're going to go to filters and we're going to scroll down and we're going to pick up bad TV and we're going to apply it to our time code layer. And as you can see, it kind of messes up the text. So we're gonna go to the expector. We don't want that roll, but we do want a little bit of waviness to sort of show that that tape isn't 100% perfect. Uh, you can add a little bit of static if you like and just get it to sort of your liking. And as you can see, as it moves, the numbers kind of jitter a little bit, much like they would have with an old VHS tape. Now we're gonna go through the exact same process for the top line. We're gonna select bad TV. We're gonna drop it in there. And of course, we are going to make some adjustments to those layers. Of course, we're going to take off that roll and we're just gonna reduce that waviness just a little bit. With that adjustment made, 
We're going to go over to the timeline. We're going to scrub through and you can see that it just kind of jitters the way that we want it right now. So finally, we're going to grab bad TV again. We're going to apply it to the effect source group. And of course, we're going to go back to the inspector and we're going to reduce that roll again because we don't want the top and bottom getting chopped off. But you can change these effects to your desired look. We're going to add a fair bit of static. We're going to adjust the line brightness a little bit, uh, as well as the number of scan lines to give it a kind of really cool looking TV VCR look. And of course we want just that little bit of waviness. Uh, we're going to change the color a bit. So there's a little bit of weird color saturation and we're just going to leave it like that. And as you can see, when we scrub through the effect, what it does, and that is looking pretty good. So of course the last thing to do is to jump over, save the project and publish it to final cut. And of course, name it. In our case, we are just going to name this VCR effect, and that's it. So that's how simple it is to make that effect for Final Cut Pro utilizing Motion 5. Again, if you don't have the file, you can get it by clicking the link down below and heading to my website. You can download the plugin for absolutely free there. Remember, like, comment, subscribe to get future videos. And until next time, see ya.